Hello everyone, welcome to uh, another tutorial and uh, this time we're going to look at how you can use a green screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using CS 5.5 but I think you can do this with most uh, video editing software. Uh, what we're going to create is this one. Bang. Okay, let's watch that again in slow motion. See you've got this building here. And uh, there we go, see the window smashes and something flies out. And there we go. And if you look carefully, you'll see our heroes from my series. And here we see them on the green screen. So I kind of took the, the clips apart. You see I uh, removed, well I lowered the chroma key effect on this clip. But uh, it's still got the keyframes. So basically what happens here is uh the skill keyframe and uh everything is still there. So just let me start from the start. Um so it's skill back to one hundred, so that's where it started out. Um and Basically, I cropped it a bit. I always try with a green screen to take as much of the picture or film off as I can. So I made it so that the pillow and the polar bear cup are still inside the frame, but not much else. Um, so I added a crop effect, added chroma key effect, and then it's just a matter of moving the similarity slider up until you got something like this. I'm not too worried about um, the bits of green here because uh, it's going to be so small that no one's going to notice anyway. Um, so here you can see I've got a bunch of keyframes now. I don't want that. So just get rid of those keyframes. So we It's really small now but um, you can do that easily yourself with the skill. Um, but anyway, what what makes a green screen in my mind is good, if I go back to this, is that um, whatever you got on green screen is, is behind something in the original, in the background. So let, let's say you got a you walking on a green screen from left to right and you'd have a picture of building similar to this then if you just put your your green screen footage on top of this then it's it looks kind of shallow but if you could do it so that you come from behind this building and then walk into the scene then it adds depth then it's much more believable that you're there but how are you going to do that well it's really simple actually um, Basically the trick is, so we've got our background here, oh, already giving the trick away, because I also, so I got two background pictures, <laughs> see where we are, oh, okay, I'm making a mess of this, but I think you know where I'm going. This is the background. This is the foreground. So here we go. See, and you see that they're kind of floating on top of it because they're not going through that open window. So that looks bad. But what what you do is you basically take the same picture again and just crop it back to this line. So now. It's like they're coming through the open window. See, so you could do that with anything. So you, you so you could blend your foreground, which is really the the green screen thingy, into the background by adding another layer uh, where you put something. I mean, and this let's say there was a lamp post here, then I would crop crop it from the right and the left, and you could be behind this or, or these guys could be behind it and then to add a bit more I've got 
footage of this breaking window which is again on top of everything else so now it really looks like they come smashing through that window and not just on top so hopefully that helps um, uh, leave me a, a video reply if, if you're going to use some green screen and uh, it would be great to see uh, how it turns out. Good luck.